Today, I wanted to do something a bit different than I usually do, and that is exploit the living hell out of No Man's Sky. So, that is basically how to have the best start. Within about, yeah, two and a half hours, I managed to get... There you go, you can buy the maximum upgrade and the tier class for your starting gear. Including your ship, which can be maxed out immediately. And with the amount of nanites, uh, or nanite duplication also, you can get to Nexus and literally buy everything. Now, we all know that you do algorithm sucks, but you know what sucks less? Jesus Christ, who wrote this? YouTube themselves? Well, anyways, click the join button for YouTube members, for the creators you believe in, and thank you all who do. So, here's gonna be the best way to start Nomad Sky on the right foot in the most exploiting way possible with the already available tools that you have on hand, and that is the game, without, you know, changing save files and so on and so forth. Right, so the first things first, the usual stuff is to find your ship, and well, you need to fix the scanner first things first. You need some ferrite dust, and that's basically available for just literally everything uh, around you, so... Slowly but surely, you're gonna accumulate it. So, I have enough to repair goods, repair it, done. The next thing is, I get the visor. What I need is for multi-tool visor to be protected. Oh, wait, well, carbon nanotubes, whoops. Never mind me. So, carbon, and insert it, and now you have a visor. Now, you can spot where your ship is. Good, moving on. God damn it, Ugh, okay. There's a faster way of traveling, partially, especially in the beginning. Oh, look at that, we got the plant as well. Essentially, you just sprint forward and press melee and then lift off with the jetpacks. That launches you with a little bit more speed and that allows you to cover a lot bigger portion of the ground faster. So that's good. Don't need that. All right, we found our ship. Now, getting in. Blah, 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 story nonsense that I never read. Yeah. Next is, touch the ball. Touch the big space testicle and enjoy whatever it has to broadcast. Now that you have touched the testicle, uh, let's see, what's next in our agenda here? Repair the starship. Yeah, you can fix the launch thrusters easily, but the pulse engine, you're gonna have to find the uh, hermetic seal, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Now, of course, you can scan the plants and other pl things, blah, 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 and get uh, extra... Oh, oxygen. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually really nice. I will need oxygen quite a bit, so that's actually a good thing to do. I usually don't bother it, but because the, it's rare to get two really useful things out of uh, a plant. Usually it's some sort of, a, you know, crap that you don't need. But, scanning, in this case, worked. And let's start exploiting! Yes! This is where the exploiting already starts. And it'll make your life quite a lot easier when you're starting fresh. Oh boy! Alright, so, what do you need? First things first is a little bit of uh, plating. And a portable refiner. Damn it, I need oxygen. <laughs> I need more oxygen for that. Alright, at least two will do, but... Alright. So, the first refiner you put down, and this is where the trick comes in with uh, duplicating. And another refiner. Perfect. Now, you can... Put it inside, and then pick it up, both of them. And you doubled your uh, materials, whatever were uh, in the first one. So, let's just start exploiting the fuck out of this game, yeah! <laughs> and that's kind of the point. The best start. Not necessarily, you know, the gameplay. Well, you came for best start. There you go. I didn't promise it would be exploit free, right? Right, so I got a lot of everything. Now I need a little bit of jelly, blah blah blah. Now let's fix the spaceship. A little bit. Yoink, yoink. And now I need a chromatic seal. Alright, let's go and finish fixing up the ship. Now we got more information, continue with the story, touch the testicle again, stroke it, strobe it, or punch it, doesn't matter what. And now I need to find... Ah yes. The thing gives me map. Alright, and again, so basically now just run. Doesn't matter if you damage yourself, as long as you, you know, have one point of health, you'll survive, right? That's how you should play games on the teetering 
pit's edge of uh, life. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah 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 blah. Mhm. Mm uh huh. No, I don't. I still don't care. All right. Get my finger magic. Good. All right. Next. And there we go. All right. Now we're back in the ship and we can fix it. Fantastic. What's the next thing? Leave the planet. Okay. There we go. And we're in space within 30 minutes. There we go. We got the next mission. Right. Uh, follow coordinates then. Right. So now, now that you've gotten whatever this thing gives you, aha, you can dr start digging underground, and that is really useful because there's one thing that I definitely want to duplicate the fuck out of, and that is the salvage thing. All right. Here we go. All I need is just one. And then I will duplicate the fuck out of you. Alright, copper deposit. That's the main important thing right now. Ah, screw it. This is gonna be the fastest. Anyways. Right, mining-wise. The bigger the bubble, the faster it mines. Yes, and you do get more faster. Problem is that it also is not efficient. So if you want more out of a single deposit, you're gonna have to go with a smaller one. But because we can duplicate the fuck out of it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> In there and duplicate. Right, chromatic metal. Let's dupe that as well. All right, now we got a bunch of uh, chromatic metals. All right then. Right. Next thing is to put down a base computer and make this my planet. Sure, why not? Uh, yoink, yoink, done. Next. Give me the archives. Yep. Play the base. There we go. Alright. Now once the base is claimed, or rather the planet, well, or the base area is claimed, I can extract whatever. Yep, basically just the stuff that I can build, or rather I have to build. Now let's make a usual shit shack, yes, good shit shack is not complete without four walls and a roof, so shit shack indeed comes on and you get a weather warning, god damn it, the fucking shit shack, alright, um, okay, you know what, I don't have the time for that shit, screw it. There we go, good enough. Oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. It, it didn't need exactly a roof, but, you know, whatever, right. So, next, what does it tell me to do? Ah, the base archive. No, construction unit, there we go. Uh, need magnetized ferrite. God, let's duplicate this. Right, so the next thing that you need to do is get the teleporter and, well, use it, essentially. For that, you will need the salvage technologies. And getting salvage technologies is a... Bitch and a half. So, guess what the fuck you're gonna do? Yes, that's right. Duplicate the living shit out of it. And boy, you have to. If there's anything you... Or rather, if there's one thing you choose to duplicate from, you know, everything in No Man's Sky, it should be the fucking salvage technologies, because gathering them is a nightmare. You're gonna have to expand the inventory at some point. But for now, all you need is just... This, that, literally anything. Yep, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Good. Yep. The next thing that I need to do is explore a planet and expand your base. That pretty much sets up your base. Now, the next thing is go to space station then. So be it. Okay, now that you're in sta spaceport or starport, well, basically just talk with characters. That's about it. Nope, no, never mind. Here we go. Alright, so. Uh, encoded message has been uh, stored, blah, 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 blah. Uh, decoded coordinates. All right, so, next thing is, but at least I get one spacesuit slot. Eventually, you're gonna have to travel to spaceports uh, just like this one and uh, pick up every single exosuit upgrade until, well, you can't carry any more. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna take a while. All right, now that you're back at your base, you can once more integrate with the... or interact with the computer. Yes. Right, signal received. Now, where's my ship? Okay. And this is where we're gonna get... Yeah, this is where we're gonna get the hyperdrive, so we can travel to a different system. 
I should have picked up microprocessors from the starport. Shit, I knew I forgot something. All right, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Another testicle that needs stroking. Yes. Good. Very well stroked. Yes. Everyone enjoys a good stroke, don't they? Now, equip hyperdrive. And microprocessors. That's all I need. And off we go back to starport again, because I need those things. And thus, you fix the hyperdrive. Though you don't have any fuel for it. So, back to spaceship. And back to space. Some more mission nonsense. Or story nonsense. Press scanner a few times and it... Yep, there we go. Off we go. Now we see some weird stuff. As if we drop... Bucket of acid. I mean... Oh. Okay, this this view is amazing. Like, okay, the grass is blue. <laughs> the sky, well, not exactly green, but oh, just the massive scale of a planet in your field of view, almost encompassing. <sighs> One of those rare space game moments, man. I love it. Well, anyways, penis. Okay. We got the antimatter thingamajig. Containment field. Yeah, it should be fine. Don't need more than these. Could duplicate these, but screw it. Alright. Refuel. And I'm good. Uh, hyperdrive refuel, then now launch into the space and test interstellar systems. Alright, off we go to another system then. Doesn't matter where you go, just go anywhere. I usually go for the galactic center anyways. Except... Okay, ram the ground and now, there we go. Right, pick this thing. Right, now, back to the ship, I suppose. Mysterious messenger, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so now off we go in space again. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Alright, next story mission. Next up. Coordinates. God fucking damn, god damn piece of shit! Fuck you! Alright. No matter if you damage yourself, Whee! as long as you, you know, have one point of health, you'll survive, right? Still flying, though. Whee! Splat. Whee! Okay, well, uh, I overestimated my shield's capacity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Just like I say in Elite Dangerous, as long as you have shields, you can do what the fuck you want. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Another space testicle to cherish and uh, console and stroll. Space testicle is now repaired. Show me your treasures. Space entity, tell the blah, 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 blah. Right, here we go. And we have Nexus. There we go. Now touch every single alien life form. Might as well get the exosuit upgrade. And this is where the second exosuit every system you get. So you go into a, every new system, you get in a spaceport, get the exosuit upgrade, then order the uh, space anomaly to arrive, right? The nexus, then get this one as well. And every system you get two uh, exosuit upgrades. And that's how you collect eventually all of them. It's a lot of work, I know, but... Uh, it is the easiest to do. Maybe not exactly the most fastest, but definitely the easiest. Right, prefab storage, definitely need that. Okay, all the technology is unlocked. Good, good. Well, most of the other things I can duplicate and come back for later, but... Uh, the most important ones I got. Now, return to space. All right. Right, at this point, basically, you can start doing whatever you want within No Man's Sky. After the Nexus, essentially. All right, let's start duplicating nanites then, shall we? Right, so basically, you just buy one upgrade. And that's all you're gonna need. Yeah, screw it. So you buy an upgrade. Rather than installing it, because, well, if you install it, you reveal what it is. It loses its value. Now. What you actually do is go on the planet surface and duplicate it. And there we go. Yep, there we go. 
Yep, there we go. Alright, off we go to spaceport. Alright, sell all of them. 49... Thousand nanites. Here we go. And now you can buy whatever you need or whatever you want. What can I do with nanites? Well, uh, first things first is upgrade the. Uh, I'll upgrade the slots. No, but upgrade the class of my bullet tool. Default little pistol. Now it's S ray. Fantastic. Basically, do the same thing with the ship. Uh, upgrade the space ship. Upgrading class. The same principle applies. And there we go. S tier, both the multi tool and the starship. All right, that's awesome. Now, the next thing I need is credits. Cobalt, there we go. Just the fundamental cobalt selling because cobalt is quite expensive and nice. All right, slowly but surely it's gonna fill up the inventory and that's gonna be very expensive and good. I just need to get one spaceship and uh, scrap it. Yeah, good enough. There we go, we got. 15 million, that's good enough for a spaceship. Aha! We got the spaceships. All right, all right, here we, here we, here we go. C rated, uh, A rated, perfect. Give me your spaceship. Exchange or buy. That's a buy. All right. Claim scrap worth. I don't care. Yep, good enough. Perfect. All right, sweet. So now, what you get for scrapping a spaceship are a couple of upgrades and a couple of expenses. Expensive things. Not the most expensive thing in the game, but still good enough. Storage augmentation. I can dupe that. Neat. All right, here we go duping again. The funny thing is, right now you can see uh, minus two billion something something something. Uh, for programmers in the audience, probably you know why that is. But basically, that's the maximum value. Well, the negative. Well, it's the way integer works. Uh, no Man's Sky has opted for one single variable to handle the amount of money you get. And that is an integer. And the maximum value for integer is, you know, 2 billion something something something. And the minus is the uh, extra bit. Uh, in the integer. Technically, it could go unsigned integer and double the number there, uh, but it's programming wibbly-wobbly stuff if you... Yeah, anyways, here we go. I got the maximum money! <laughs> At least what my uh, wallet can hold for now. All that's left is now to expand the ship and my multi-tool. That's already a best start you can get ever. Uh, apply augmentation. Yes. Ah, maximum storage reached. There you go. An S tier upgraded ship maxed out. The starting ship. Oh, baby. That's just beautiful. Multi tool. Pull, purchase a new slot. Yep. There we go. And money. And that's it. Oh, wait. No, I still have money. And there we go. Ah, still. Still. It still needs more. <laughs> ah, damn it. How much more money do I sink into one fucking multi tool? Yep, yep. Okay, and every other one is now costing 600. Okay, gotcha. Right, fine. It's already enough space for everything you ever would need, really. So, that is basically how to have the best start. Within about, yeah, two and a half hours. I managed to get my multi-tool maxed out. There you go. You can buy the maximum upgrade and the tier class for your starting gear. Including your ship, which can be maxed out immediately. And, yeah, the only thing that is really left is just to max out the cargo and technologies for your exosuit. Which is gonna take a little bit more time. And with the amount of nanites uh, or nanite duplication also, you can get to Nexus and literally buy everything. That includes also the uh, salvage technologies, which is a nightmare to get. But regardless, there you go. So, yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching. Of course, do check out the Patreon down below and all the useful things, that, uh, including streams and, uh, yeah. Um, that's about it. Take care, and I'll see you around.